Well, New York's Secretary of State traveled to Rochester for an update on efforts to improve downtown city and county leaders discuss the state's downtown revitalization initiatives or DRI and how it's benefited Rochester in recent years. Natalie Kuchko has a progress report as well as details about plans to help other communities in our area. Natalie. Teresa, we are among the stops as part of this statewide tour to discuss the lessons learned from the program so far and why, for example, it's essential in keeping people right in downtown Rochester. As part of the upcoming state budget, another $200 million has been set aside to help downtowns across New York State thrive. The funds split in half for the state's downtown revitalization program and a newer one called New York Forward, helping smaller communities across the state. It's focusing on smaller four and a half million dollar awards um, and it can go to a village or a group of towns or villages. So we want to make sure that folks are aware that we have a variety of different programs regardless of your size to make uh, to make sure that we can help transform all corners of the state. Rochester was selected as a DRI recipient back in 2021, awarded $10 million to make improvements to a variety of areas, including revamping historic structures along East Main Street, among others. Secretary of State Robert Rodriguez says the key is building off the remote work trend which emerged during the pandemic, keeping downtown residents downtown. Important that we recognize that downtown revitalization and New York Forward is one of those uh, uh, pieces of the, of the puzzle uh, for retaining talent into the area. We know that more people want to live and work in their downtown areas. So this gives you an opportunity to, from an economic development perspective, provide those pieces for people to stay. A number of towns and villages in surrounding counties to Monroe have also seen this funding and the hope is to engage more communities in the process, big or small. We haven't gotten everyone. We haven't gotten all the corners. There's still a lot of worthy communities that we want to encourage uh, to enter into this process. So that's what we're here to talk about. Now, the city of Geneva was selected as one of the very first DRI recipients. That was back in 2016, and we're told its work, all of the projects, are expected to be completed very soon. And the state is also working with localities that may need assistance with that application process for these funds. Those are due by the fall.